Hello everyone, welcome to Steph Tensor Yoga. I'm super excited to practice with you. On the agenda for today, we have Iyengar Yoga for Spinal Decompression. Okay, so the practice that we're doing today, um, it's accessible, uh, you know, there's detail involved, but beginners or intermediate students can benefit from this practice. So those of you who deal with back pain, this is a really good one. I often describe this sequence, uh, particularly the lying down variation, as brushing your teeth for people with back pain. Morning and night, every day, for the rest of your life. It is just um, a really powerful practice. I hope you enjoy it. You know, if you feel at all inclined, please let me know. Let me know how you make out in the comments below. Enjoy and uh, let's get to it. Okay. Let's begin with Supta Padangustasan 1 and 2 with traction. Okay, so for this presentation, you'll need two straps. And with your straps, create a big loop. Okay, big loop. Lay yourself down. And just have one strap off to the side. And the other one we're going to use in just a second. Okay, so first when you lie down, do make sure, you know, make sure you're straight and then also make sure that you're able to lengthen, you know, the back of your neck. Okay, so if you find your chin is really pointing upward, then just place a blanket under there so there's no strain in your neck and throat and jaw area. Okay, now here with your first strap here and your big loop, you're going to place your strap on your left heel. Okay, I've got my left heel here, and then I take my right knee, right over my right knee, and place it into my right groin here, okay, like this. And you'll see here, I've got the buckle on the side, and I've positioned it in such a way that the tail is actually pulling away from me, okay? And I'm doing this because I'm trying to actually encourage this to move in that direction so that when I tighten it up, it kind of does that for me. It's starting, it's you know working in that direction, okay? And then from here, you scrub your left heel away and straighten that leg. Now, if your um, belts, your straps are maybe not long enough, then work with it bent. You know, you may work like this if that's what you have. If you have a longer strap, then, then go for that and straighten the leg completely. Okay, now turn the front of your left thigh in and press your left thigh down. Okay, hug this right knee in. I wouldn't be aggressive about it. I mean, you, you can use your hands a little bit, but don't distort your shoulders in order to reach your, reach your leg here. So you can also just kind of, with your mind, hug the leg in. Okay, and just allow that strap to penetrate into the groin here and feel. Okay, now also pick your left foot up and ever so slightly, just a little, little bit, lift the foot up and move it a little bit to the left. Okay, and as you move it to the left, feel the response that comes in that right outer hip. Okay, once again, turn the front of the left thigh in, press it down, keep that left buttock heavy and grounded, pull your right knee in towards you. Okay, so now moving onward, take your second strap and just have it folded like so. So it's a doubled strap, right? Both pieces as one. And then you're gonna hook it around your heel, your heel bone. So you can sort of shimmy it towards the back of your heel and then raise your leg up to about 90 degrees. Okay, I've just got my fingers here inside the strap and now Pull down on the strap, right? Pull down and inject your thigh bone, your femur bone, deep into the pelvis here. Okay, pull down. Next, slide your right buttock along the floor towards the end of your mat. That's action two. So number one, thigh bone down. Action two, slide the buttock away from you. Now, from the back of your leg, reach up. Almost like you want to make the back of your leg taller than the front of your leg, okay? You're holding here with two hands, shoulders back, chest up. Pull down, draw the thigh bone in to the pelvis towards the floor. Slide your right buttock along the floor towards the end of your mat. Reach up through the back of your leg. 
Big, broad feet, spread your toes, spread your toe mounds. Look at your foot, see that the inner foot is really lifting. So don't let the foot go askew. Big toe mound up, inner heel up. You can even pull a little extra with your right hand and try to coil that small toe side of the foot down a little bit. Okay, breathe here. Move the bulk of your thigh away. Right? That's the idea. You want to create here length through the side waist and length through the back pelvis. Slide the buttock away. Reach up through the back of your leg. Move your thigh away. You know, check in again with your left foot. Turn the front of that thigh in. Deflate your thigh. Move it down. Okay, and then release. Okay, so now to go to the other side, you're gonna lift it up. And now I'm kind of doing this fancy move here where I turn the whole belt upside down so that when I've got it now on my right heel and my left groin, the buckle is again situated so that the tail pulls away from me. Okay, if the belt thing is getting a little bit out there, <laughs> if, it's getting, if you're getting lost in the belt, don't worry about it. Just go from the groin to the heel, okay? And then again, move, the, move your right leg just slightly, just slightly, slightly off center, right? Just to exaggerate that length through the side waist, right? That happens here. And again, hug your knee in towards you. Get used to this strap, the penetration into the groin. Breathe here. Okay, and then from here, hook your belt on your heel. Raise your leg up, like so. And again, fingers inside the loop. Okay, straighten both legs. Big, broad feet, open up. Okay, pull on your strap, inject the femur bone down. Now literally try to slide your left buttock along the floor towards the end of your mat, and now reach up through the back of your leg. Okay, so the bone goes down, back of the leg lifts, and as you do that, you may find the toes come a little bit closer towards you, but this bulk of the thigh, especially this bottom part here, like the top third here, moves away from you, okay? So it's, it's definitely not about bringing the toes towards you, but as you maneuver yourself, thigh bone down, buttocks away, back of the leg up, you may find the foot comes a little closer towards you, okay? Go to the right leg, turn the front of that right thigh in, Move the knee down, thigh down. Okay, broaden the back of your thigh from inside out. And as much as you can, deflate that thigh. Okay, breathe here. Hold it for a little bit. Check in with your feet, spread the toes, spread your toe mounds, and reach your inner leg up, inner leg up. On the bottom foot too, reach the inner leg away from you. All right, and then release. Okay, so now carrying forward, um, let's pick up from where we left off because we're gonna add Supta Padangasthasana two. Okay, so left heel into the strap, take the right leg inside over the right knee and have the belt right at the groin here, okay? Tighten it up, see that it's secure. Reach for your second strap. And once again, hook it on the heel. Okay, so we've got Supta Padangasthasana one. Okay, now take your attention to your left foot and again, just off center it ever so slightly, ever so slightly, okay? You're both gonna try to, like with that movement, Put some length here through the side waist and also anchor down into the right buttock. Okay, it's gonna help to maintain that. Okay, now here you can take hold of the strap, 
take hold of the strap. Actually, let's we'll work with the bent arm. So you can just take hold of both pieces of the strap here. You're still doing what you did before. Pull the leg bone in, slide the buttock away, reach up through the back of your leg. But now hold both pieces of the strap with one hand, with your right hand, and right where this belt is, right where the buckle is, draw into the midline. Okay, draw into the midline and extend your leg over to the side. And you can, just you can rest your elbow on the ground here. Okay, now as you go to the right side, keep your mind in your left buttock. Okay, you think all the work's happening on the right side, but in fact, the left leg is working really hard here. Reach into that strap, turn the front of the thigh in and make your left buttock heavy as you extend your leg over to the right, more, 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 more. Okay, now imagine that you had a zipper on the outer line of your right leg and pull that zipper, right, this whole line here into the hip socket and reach your leg over more, 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 more. Okay, broaden through your front pelvis. Okay, anchor down into the left buttock. Press your left thigh down, left hip down. You can do what I'm doing. Just take your hand and kind of hold it down there. Okay, suck in at your right hip and from your inner leg, extend away. Okay, and then raise your leg back up and then release, change sides. Okay, so again, switch it up. You're gonna have the belt now on your right heel and left groin. Okay, and sometimes, you know, the belt slides around. I find if you just lift this left foot off the ground, right, that's what's gonna secure it. When the foot is on the floor, it still moves around. So as soon as you put your knee in, just lift that foot off the floor, okay? And then you can tighten it up or, you know, see how you need it. Okay, be here. And then come first to Supta Padangas in one working again with the strap on the heel. Okay, I like to have it really doubled so it's not too wide. Okay, and then like so. Okay, shift your right foot a little bit off center, just a little bit, ever so slightly. Okay, pull down on your strap, inject your femur bone in, slide your left buttock away from you and reach up through the back of your leg. Okay, hold the belt with your left hand. With your right hand, hold your right hip down. And now keep your mind in that right side. Right buttock heavy, don't let it come with you. Suck in at your left hip and extend your leg over to the left side. Right buttock heavy, left leg over to the left side and broaden yourself across your front pelvis. Okay, spread your toes, spread your toe mounds, reach your inner legs away from you. And on the outer line of your left leg, pull into the hip, suck into the hip there. Extend further, breathe. Supta Padangasthasan two. Slightly turn your abdomen back to the right side. Okay, and then raise your leg back up. And then release. Okay, you can undo your belt. So just pause for a moment here. Okay, and then roll over to your right side and slowly push yourself back upright. Okay, we're gonna do something very similar, related, but standing upright now. Okay, so it's a variation of Uttita Hasa Padangustasin, one and two. Okay, we've got your big belt, your big strap, big loop. Stand on it with your left heel and then take your right knee inside. Okay, so take the right knee inside and place your foot up on your setup here. Okay, like so. Okay, create a right angle, stack the knee over the ankle, look down at your left foot and then just kick the heel out a little bit so that the um, 
you know, the outer edge of your left foot is more or less parallel to the edge of the mat. Okay, you don't want to have the heel sticking way in here, but kick it out. Okay, more or less. You know, different shapes, different bodies are different shapes. If there's any pain in the knee, if it feels like it's straining, then don't overdo that action. But just check that out for yourself. Okay, you do want the back of the leg to be able to broaden. So that's the intention there. Okay, now you're here. Stand really tall in your left leg, in your left hip. Okay, suck that left hip in. Now pressurize your right foot into the seat of the chair and with the help of this strap, shoot the buttock bone down to the floor. Okay, now if you don't feel the strap is tight enough, bend your standing leg a little and just give it a small tug and then slowly straighten the leg again. Okay, it should be sort of challenging to straighten the leg. Yeah, so that, you know, you feel a little bit of freedom here, a little bit of space coming. Lift the toes of your right foot and connect. Connect the toe mounds and the full shape of your heel into the chair seat. Pound your heel down. And as sharp as your right heel feels on the chair, reach this right buttock bone down. Right, so you're pressing really strong on the heel. Can you make this buttock bone feel that strong towards the floor? Okay, almost like you have a third leg here that's descending from the right buttock bone. Okay, now all the while, I'm gonna show from a different angle, you stay with it. Okay, stay with that right leg up. But all the time while you're doing this, you wanna see that the left hip is working and is keeping you stable. Okay, so I'm just going to tighten up my strap again, and I'm kicking my left heel out. Now this hip might, you know, sneak out. So draw that outer hip in, and at the same time, shoot your right buttock bone down so that you create space this way and on the side waist. Okay, this area here, we want to create a lot of freedom in here. Left hip, suck it in reach your right buttock bone down. Now you can just have your hands on your waist, wrap your elbows back, lift your chest, keep your eyes at eye level, okay? If you're really steady, you can also reach your arms to the side, turn your palms up, roll your shoulders down, and then exhale and raise your arms up to the ceiling. Create length through both sides of the body. Okay, reach up, but at the same time, right outer hip corner down. Create space. Okay, good. And then release. And pause. Okay, so now second side. All right, so this time you're going to step on your strap with your right foot, your right heel. Take your left knee inside and hook the belt into your left groin. Okay, again, you want to see where you are in space here. I think I've got my chair a little crooked, so I'm just going to straighten it out a bit. Okay. And then create that right angle. Now here, if your belt is not tight enough, bend your standing leg a little, pull on the strap, right? Create that tension, and then slowly straighten your leg. Okay, check out your right foot, and then just kick the heel out a little bit. Kick it out a little bit. Okay, now as I showed before, suck your right hip into the body. So that standing leg moves into the midline. Keep that. And then from your left outer hip, your left buttock bone go down to the floor. Okay, so I, don't, I hope you can see the similarity between doing this upright um, and on the floor like we just did. Okay, we don't have the value, the benefit of the floor as a prop here. So when you were lying down, I said to slide your buttock along the floor, right? You don't have that now. So you have to remember, right? Put your mind there and then shoot the buttock bone down and create that similar sensation. Okay, now as if you had a third leg descending from your left buttock, reach the buttock bone down more and create length through the side waist, length through the back pelvis. Breathe. Okay, hands can be on your hips, shoulders back, chest up. And if you're steady, you can also reach your arms to the side, turn your palms, roll your shoulders down, and then raise your straight arms up. Okay, lift the sides of your body. 
Keep lifting, pressurize your foot into the chair, reach your buttock bone down, lift up through the sides of your body. Utira hasta prengustasen, one. Okay, and then release. Okay, let's do same thing, but now sideways, parjva variation, okay? So again, step on your belt here with your left foot, take your right leg, your right knee inside the loop here, turn the leg out and place it up on the chair. Okay, so now you're opening yourself up to the side. Okay, now a couple things, just you know, nuances, try to, to arrange your pose here. As before, the standing leg, you're gonna lift the heel up and just kick it out slightly. Okay, if the belt still isn't tight enough, you bend the knee and then find the tail. Find the tail here and then just tighten it up a bit. Okay, and see, see if that gives you the tension. You wanna feel like this is being pulled down. Okay, now the foot that's up on the chair, shift it a little forward. Okay, so this leg is back and this leg is a little forward. And then stack your knee directly over your ankle so that the shin bone is perpendicular to the floor. Okay, don't let it, you know, hang back like this. Stand it up, okay? Big broad feet open up. Both feet are doing tadasana. Okay, now understand here, the front of your pose is this way. So this here, faces forward, shoulders forward. Okay, now stand really tall in your left leg. Suck this left outer hip up and into the body. My strap is a little too tight there. Okay, suck this hip up and in, up and in. Okay, press down into your right foot, deep in your hip socket, externally rotate that thigh. Now as you turn your thigh back, don't let the knee go back. Keep the knee where it is, but in the socket, turn. Turn that thigh out and roll your buttock under. Roll it under. Now in your effort to roll the right buttock under, did your left side come forward, right? So that's why I'm saying know where the front of your pose is. Anchor back through the left side and turn your right knee, turn your right thigh out. Okay, breathe here. You can have your arms to the side, chest up and breathe. Okay, suck your left hip up and in, deep in your hip socket, externally rotate. Roll your buttock under, anchor back through the left thigh and be here. Broaden your collarbones, drop your shoulders, yeah. And if you really want to, you can still raise the arms up. It just, I like that. It just gives a little bit more length through the side body. Okay, and then release, lower yourself down and then change sides. Okay, so turn yourself around. Stand this time with your right heel up on the strap and take your left leg through. Okay, turn the leg all the way out. And then, you know, if you need to do a little bit of adjusting on the strap, you do that. Shift your left foot forward on the chair so you have a slight crossover stance. Kick your right heel slightly out. Okay, now stand tall in your right leg, this hip here, suck it in. Deep in your left hip socket, externally rotate your thigh out. As you turn that thigh out, check to see that the knee didn't fall back. Keep it upright and turn in the socket. Okay? Use your feet, press your heels, each toe mount, activate. Okay? Resist at the left hip, excuse me, resist at the right hip and roll your left buttock under. Roll it under, roll it under, and then reach your arms to the side. Okay, broaden your collarbones, drop your shoulders, and reach into your fingers more and more. Be here, breathe. Okay, and then if you want, turn your palms up, roll your shoulders back, exhale, raise your arms up. Raise your arms up with the intention of lifting the rib cage right up off the waist. Shoot that right buttock bone down, roll the buttock flesh under, Chest up. Okay, and then release. Undo yourself. And just stand for a moment in Tadasan. Okay, breathe here.
If for any reason you're unstable here with the legs together, give yourself a little bit of space and stand up straight. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the practice. And if you did, and if you're enjoying my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. You can click the subscribe button and then also there's a little bell right next to it if you'd like to be alerted when I upload new videos. Okay, happy practicing, enjoy, and uh, I hope to see you soon next time.